Do. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Anderson. Can you please state your first and last name and spell your last name? John Farrell, F-A-R-R-E-L-L. -L. And how are you employed? I'm a sergeant with the Somerset Police Department. How long have you uh, worked in law enforcement? Uh, since June of 2013. And are you, do you also have training in first aid or emergency response? I do, I'm currently licensed as an emergency medical responder. And were you working on July 30th of 2022? Yes. On that day, were you dispatched to the Apple River stabbing? I was. What was the, if you recall, what was the initial information from dispatch? Uh, initial information was uh, people stabbed on the river, possibly one dead. I believe it was three victims as we were responding to the scene. And did you head immediately to the scene or did you have to go somewhere else first? I had to grab a set of bolt cutters uh, out of the PD garage and then I went to the Sunrise Camp entry and had to cut the lock to get in and then I went directly to the scene. And is that uh, the Sunrise Camp em entry, is that uh, private property? Yeah. And is that, was that the best access to get to where the incident was reported to have happened? Yeah, there's a road that you can get on off Sunrise Drive in Somerset, and then it'll take you back to where the scene was. And the, is that a campground that's in operation or no? No. And the, the, the owner has given permission for law enforcement to use that when needed? Yeah, we had spoken to him in the past about it. Were you one of the first officers to arrive on scene? I was. And how many officers, if you recall, arrived there originally? I don't recall a specific number. Um, I know as I was um, approaching the scene, I saw a Deputy Durand come down um, from the highway and then Officer Stumo was behind me. And there was a, also another deputy that was behind me that was at the gate when I opened it. And so what was the, can you kind of describe what the situation was when you got to the river? Yeah, there was, uh, I was being flagged down initially by people at the river bank. Um, as I approached them, I saw one guy come out that was holding his side. Uh, it was later determined that he had a stab wound on his side. That was being directed down uh, into the river where a, a female was sitting in a tube um, whilst uh, bystanders were holding pressure on her left side. Um, when I looked, got down into the river, um, when I looked at her, I had noticed that uh, I could see what I believed to be bod her bodily organs outside of her body. Uh, Deputy Durand and I worked with bystanders to uh, get her out of the river. Um, during that time, we were trying to determine what, what, you know, what was going on, where's the suspect. Um, there's a lot of information coming in at once, a lot of people in one spot. Um, we were able to get her out. The other person that was there that was stabbed came up as well. I uh, retrieved the medical kit from my squad car, um, provided some medical equipment to the other officers before I went into the river, uh, and then headed upriver to uh, where the other uh, victims were. And were there, while you were at the river when you initially got there, were there still groups of tubers going down the river? Yeah. And was there a good crowd of tubers around also? Yeah. Did you know who was witnesses, who were just bystanders, or was it kind of just people everywhere? There was people everywhere. I didn't know who was who. I mean, it was obvious to me who was injured, but other than that, I didn't know who witnesses were, suspects were, what anyone else's involvement was. Did you have a body cam on? I did. Does your body camera indicate the date and the time of the footage on the bottom of the screen? It does. Permission to approach? Yes. Handing you what's been marked as Exhibit 22, uh, what's that labeled as? Feral BC video. BC body cam? Yes. Um, judge, I move to publish portions of it. I'm going to skip around a little bit to not show some of the up close graphic parts. So, first, any objection to Exhibit 22? No. All right, received. 
Go ahead and publish the portions you wish to show. <clears throat> Tell us when you're ready. Oh, and I'll ask another question. If we watch the first minute, would it just be you driving there? Yeah. We're going to start at 57 seconds, Judge. We're going to play to about the five minute mark for this first segment. I got a cutter! Dispatch should be unseen just underneath getting flagged down by people. So we're paused at 2.53. Um, can you see the time stamp on the bottom there? I can. What's the time? Uh, 15.54.45, which is 3.54 p.m. The time of law enforcement's first arrival on scene? Yeah. Yes. Can we have a screen again, please? And 1554 would be 3.54 p.m.? Yes. Is that right, what I wrote up there? Yes. We're going to keep playing until about the five-minute mark. One stabbing already up here. The one kid that walked by you is too. Yep, we saw that. Chase, you got a knife on you? I can't breathe. 
Gunners. Gotta go one more cut here. I have to I know you do. I know you don't. We're doing good. We'll keep holding pressure. Okay. Yeah, so the first helicopter is overhead and open. <laughs> We stopped at 452 and did you end up assisting to carry Riley out of the river? Yes. Where'd you bring her? Uh, just up to the paved road there by the squad cars. What'd you do after that? I retrieved the medical equipment from my squad car and provided it to the officers who were tr tending to her, the other uh, subject that was stabbed next to my, that was sitting next to my squad car, and then I headed into the river. And we're going to play from about the eight minute mark. 7.59 is the timestamp. <laughs> We're gonna have to get your butt up a little bit here. Yep, yep. Way up. Yep, we're going. Okay. Ready, Chase? And the guy is still walking up the river. He's the suspect? Still, yes, he's in the old still had a knife out, he was still stabbing people. 4502 dispatch, we just received information. Suspect still has a knife and heading up river on foot. Five hundred two dispatch. I'm just getting up to 06. It does appear that EMS is clear to get up here. Just make sure they know the suspect's still large. There's. We got officers up there at our entry point. If we can get a boat, that'd be great. Yep. 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 Okay. Right. Seals. If you got a seal, you need a seal. Yeah, I need. His guts are all everywhere. Okay. Yep. We stopped at 10:50. That uh, first victim you stopped at and dropped off a chest seal. Yeah. Did you later learn that was AJ, or don't you know? I don't know. Okay. You know who that is up in the background there? Uh, which? On the bank to the right, that kind of obstructed by other people, but. The person that's being tended to medically and CPR is in progress. Um, I, I don't remember his exact name, but I believe his first name was Isaac. Okay. Did you 
What did you do after this point? I went up to the group that was doing CPR on him um, and then assisted with that. Do you eventually assist getting people off the river? Yeah, when the uh, paramedics arrived, they came up the river, then I assisted in getting him out of there. How did you get um, Isaac off the river with when you had to wade up like that? Yeah, a uh, backboard was placed on inner tubes and then floated down the river. I don't have anything else. <clears throat> Mr. Trophacy? Uh, just briefly, I'm sorry. Um, so it, it appears initially you're in kind of responder trying to assist mode. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. And at that point, uh, I'm assuming you're training. You're not, I don't want to say you're not interested, but you're focused on kind of what's going on and the investigation can kind of happen at a later point. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Um, at some point, your report indicates that you make it to the village park. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So from what we saw there in the Times, how much later or how much time passes until you make it up to village park? Oh, I, I don't know the exact time. It's, it's, a, it's not immediate. It's a significant time, but I don't know the exact time. Okay. And we heard on the tape that you're getting uh, information as as it's kind of coming in, is that fair? Yes. Okay. Um, when you go to uh, Village Park, are you then starting to maybe switch over from emergency situation to kind of investigative situation? Is that fair? Yes. Okay. And you may contact at Village Park with a gentleman by the name of Eric Williams, is that right? That's right. Okay, and does he come up to you or do you go up to him? Um, he, I had directed him out of the crowd to come talk to me. There was a group gathered together. Okay, so did you have some information that he might have information? Um, I had in information that the people in the group may have information, but as to who, who knew what and who was where, um, no, I didn't have that until I started talking to him. Okay. And he had provided you at least some inf some brief information about kind of what was going on, right? Yes. Okay. And he had provided you information um, that he was with Mr. Meal, right? Yeah, in the same group, yes. And he had provided you information as to kind of what Mr. Mew was doing. Yes. Previously, right? Yes. Okay. That he was looking for a phone, right? That's correct. Okay. At that point, do not take this as critical. At that point, you don't have any other information as to what had actually happened. Is that fair? Oh, and what I mean by that is, I know you saw people that had been injured, but how they were injured, the circumstances surrounding that, you didn't have that information, right? Some of the witnesses on, on the scene had mentioned stabbing. That that's what had happened, sure. um, but other than that, no. Okay, and you locate very. Tell me if this is fair. You locate various uh, pieces of what may be physical evidence. Yeah. In, in your mind. Yes. Okay. And that was a shirt and a pair of swim goggles. Yes. Okay. Uh, are the goggles goggles like you would see? Are they snorkel goggles or are they goggles like a swimmer who's competing? I don't. I don't remember exactly what they were. Okay. After your interview with Mr. Williams, um, and you're walking kind of at the river, is that your involvement in the case? Yeah, that's the involvement, yeah. I was, um, well, I had been gi given a ride back, and that's when you said, when I assisted with finding the evidence in the river, the T-shirt, the goggles. So there's that space between Village Park and where the incident actually had occurred, where I initially responded to. So I had gone from there back to that spot, and that's when I assisted in that searching where I found the T-shirt and the swim goggles. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. So after that's done... Your involvement in, in kind of what happened here has concluded. Is yeah. That fair? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mr. Anderson, anything else? 
Nothing else. All right. Thank you, Sergeant. You may step down. Who is the next witness? Chase Durand. 